Well, the Buffalo Bills had an unexpectedly active uh, free agent season, didn't they? Double. Since we last met, you know, the Von Miller signing to top it. Since we last met, I said something. God, why? Why do you guys not listen to everything I say? Because I'm always right about everything. I said every year in free agency, it's guaranteed that three days after it starts, Brandon Bean will make a splash that no one sees coming. And what did he do? Literally three days after the tampering period starts, here comes Von Miller into Buffalo. How do you not love this? How do you not love this? You got Shaq Lawson coming back. You have Jordan Phillips coming back. By the way, very sneaky, big-time moves for this Buffalo Bills defense. This is going to be the best defense as long as you find a second corner somewhere in the draft that the Bills have had maybe since the Ted Cottrell days. Let me ask you a question. You're, you're good with the years to Von Miller, or you're just good with the acquisition of Von Miller? Because the acquisition, you're absolutely right. It's sure. amazing. Look, the years are a lot. The way that it breaks down is essentially a three-year deal for, what, 52-something million dollars guaranteed? That guy takes care of himself, he right? Does. And defensive ends traditionally go long. If you look at production at 34, 35, 36, 37 years old for historically great defensive ends, which Von Miller arguably is a top five, maybe top three? I'm not concerned about this at all. You have to do it. Your window is here. You got two more years of Josh Allen where it's semi-affordable. If you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? Two-year like, window, maybe three-year window. Are you worried down the road? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to think the next free agency, like pretty soon the Bills are going to be have to be sellers. Yeah, uh, over the next 24 to 36 months, they better win a Super Bowl. This is what this is. This is all the chips in the middle of the table. This is for the Super Bowl. This is not for the AFC Championship game. This is to be in a Super Bowl to win a Super Bowl so that Duffy can, you know, not show up to work for the next three days. Over yeah, three days. I'm, I'm going to be weeks. Un unconscious <laughs> for a week. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned as an NFL fan over the last three to five years, is the salary cap does not actually exist. You look at what the Rams have been doing, selling off their draft picks and signing high-end free agents for the last five years. You know what they did this offseason? Went out and got more high-end free agents, and they're finding a way to get it done. It does not exist. Teams find a way around it, unless you're a team like the Giants, where uh, you are, you have one of the worst records in the NFL and one of the worst cap situations. Can, can we just call the Giants the Buffalo Bills of the South? <laughs> because they, all they seem to do is just go to get players that are from the Buffalo Bills. Man, Burita, the offensive line, a couple of players, I'm here and there. Is there a sneaky pick in here? Is there somebody that, you know, it's a little under the radar that you're saying, boy, that was really good. Uh, I, I really like Mitch Trubisky to the Steelers, if I'm being sincere with you. Mitch Trubisky is a he, I mean, former second overall pick. The guy caught a bad rap in Chicago. He's the exact guy that Mike Tomlin needs to run that offense. And you have a quality running game with some receivers to do it. I really, really like Mitchell Trubisky. I, and it's so funny that his image has gone so high having not done anything yeah. for a year. I do like Matt <laughs> Barkley back again. And oh, by the way, Ryan Fitzpatrick, coach. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to sign somewhere as a quarterback before this season. He hasn't starts. signed yet. And trust me, there are teams that need quarterbacks. There's going to be somebody who needs a two or three. It's going to happen. Fitz will be playing in the league one more year. Fitz will play when somebody gets hurt and they need him. <laughs>